right, you can't see it from where we're at here, but there's a tiny little post in front of me. There it is. Don't want to run that over. All set, ready to go. We're headed into Winnipeg. Got to grab a trailer there and drag it over to a town, an area called Randolph, Manitoba. It's a very small town that if you blink, you will literally miss it. I, I didn't even know it was a town. It's sort of, uh, it's sort of just a, a spot on the road. How, how would I describe that? There's like two houses, but it's a town. And we gotta bring them something. As soon as I can get out of this gate. Let me out. Got stuff to do. Be a bit of a tanker yanker this morning. And I yank this tanker south of the city. It doesn't have any uh, hazmat in it, so there's no need for placards or anything. Just gotta drag this tanker down for them and drop it there and then head back to our yard for whatever they have next for me. See, felt this thing always falls down. I kinda like this little platform between the seats that I built, just for the fact that it uh, creates a nice little table for my clipboard. Okay, so I've done my pre-trip again on the truck and of course on the new trailer that I hooked onto. I input it into my e-log here, what load I'm taking. Uh, you gotta put the BOL number in there, the trailer identification so that if you get pulled into a scale or pulled over, all of that information is known to the government. They like, I told you, they're very nosy. They like to know what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, where I'm going, where I came from, what I'm hauling. What are all the identification numbers to it? Where's my paperwork? Everything has to be put into the computer system so that if I get pulled over, I can just be like, here you go. And they have all the information they need and everything's all in order. Because if uh, a DOT or what we call them here in Manitoba, MOT, Ministry of Transportation or Motor Carrier Enforcement, if they pull you over and you don't have all your ducks in a row, they get grumpy, okay? You want to keep them happy. Everybody's better when everybody's happy. So you just gotta keep them happy. Let's just make sure we're not gonna lose this trailer. Let's. It's not gonna fall off. We are connected. Brakes work on the trailer and they release. Fantastical. Okay, let's get out of here. It's... I gotta pull this down to around uh, the New Bothwell area. If you're familiar with Southern Manitoba. Uh, it's sort of between work and Steinbach for me, so it's a familiar area. It's in Hanover Municipality, the municipality or the county that I hail from. The best one, just saying, not biased at all, not biased at all, Hanover is the best county, municipality. What's the difference between a county and a municipality? I always say county because more people use that term and they understand what that is. It's a municipality. It's kind of like the same thing. Well, the tanker got brought to its rightful destination. Now they need me to go pick up 7,200 pound piece. Sounds like it's gonna be a big tank, but I'm not, not really sure what it is. I'm kind of excited to find out. Gotta bring it back here in a roll tight. I choose this one. Everything's working. So picking this up, it's going to Indianapolis ASAP and it's ready today, so don't worry, I'm on the way. I'm just going to figure out where you are first. Put in your address here. It's on Paquin Road. Thank goodness for Google Maps. Man, this comes in so handy. Where is that? Oh, it's right nearby. It's not even that far away. It's on the southeast corner of the city. Well, no, but we better get going then. Okay, so we'll go up uh, Plessy. And that takes us right into that uh, industrial park there. Okay, all right, all right. I know you guys don't like looking at my face that much, so one second, let me buckle myself in so I don't fall out. Where's my buckle? Don't scare me like that. Okay. 
shall we? All right, I just pulled up alongside our scale here in the yard just to make sure I know where I'm going. So I hate it when I leave the yard, get on the highway and then realize it. Oh, wait a minute, where am I going? It works a lot better if you know first and you don't have to make an awkward pullover. All right, see if I can get that gate to open from here. My button's been working pretty good today. I have this button that opens that gate. Come on. There we go. This is my Uncle Rudy's truck here on the left. I wonder what he's up to. Like I said, this piece is supposed to be 7,200 pounds, so it's not that big. It's not a full load. We're bringing it back here and uh, most likely going to combine it with some other stuff. These roll tight trailers are seriously the best thing ever. I love them. I would have had to tarp this load just to bring it 15 minutes back to the yard. But since we have these roll tights, I can just throw it in there and close it up and off we go. They were part of uh, Dark Hole. Uh, Keystone went and uh, bought Dark Hole last year, uh, Dark Hole International, and now it's, uh, they're merged, the two companies together. So all of their equipment is now our equipment and our equipment is now their equipment. So it's, uh, it's really nice because all these roll tights came with that, with that deal. Off to my left, we're gonna turn. Well, we're gonna turn left right away, and off to the left there, you'll see there must be a fire burning in St. Boniface or something. Thick black smoke out there. Turn left onto Root Camp Hill Side Street. I'm turning left. You see me? I'm in the turning lane. Oh, you won't be able to see the smoke from here. There's uh condos are in the way, or whatever these are, townhouses. Drag myself around this corner here. Onto what street? Debates? Debate Street. Oh, I guess you won't be able to see the smoke from here. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to get you all excited. There's a big big smoke plume coming out of the industrial zone in St. Boniface, it looks like. I don't know what's going on. Someone's roasting marshmallows. I'm turning right. Give me a chance to put my signal on. Stop telling me how to live my life. And this way. Debates. Debates. All right, 800 meters, how far is that? Is that to the next row? I like how she just thinks that I know exactly how far that is. Oh yeah, that's about 800 meters. I think I should turn now. The next street is gonna be Packland Road. This is an industrial zone in Transcona. It's on the east side of Winnipeg. It's an area I'm more familiar with because it's the closest side to Steinbeck. This feels more uh, familiar and like home to me here. Which way, which way? It hasn't been 800 meters yet? No? No answer? It's past this, uh, past these guys. Turn left onto Pacman Road. China shipping, all the way out here. China, I found your box, come get it. Park here, my friend, my caravan friend, right at an intersection. 
facing the wrong direction. I gotta get out of this guy's way, he's coming. Not a good spot to park. Alright, so down here at the corner. This is a big steel mill here. This isn't where we're picking up today, but I've been in there before. Pick up heavy steel in there. Good old Canadian steel. Ships out to all over the world from here. All right, let's, let's figure out what we're loading over here. You have arrived. Thank you, I, I know that. Do I put my signal on or do I, because I'm going straight, but the road goes that, I put my signal on anyways, just in case, just in case. Hello? I'm here for my stuff. Where is it? Where is it? I'm guessing it's around the back. Oh, there's a dock here. Maybe they want me to back into the dock. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna park right here in the middle in everyone's way. No, I'm just kidding. Where do I park? Heh. Park just off to the side here, just that I'm out of the way, and then uh... oh, there's a shipping and receiving door. I see it. Okay, definitely gonna have to move, but at least I'm out of the way for now. Right, I got the looking cool shades, got the truck and hat. I'm ready to get my stuff. Well, let's tell the government that I'm on duty. Okay. trucking stuff to do so it's actually almost in the exact right place i just have to back up a little bit this is my stuff right here just had to give them a little bit more space so apparently that's 7200 pounds oh there's cement in the middle of it look at that i wonder what this is i thought it was a hopper well, that's not a hopper looks like one though eh? Like for grain and stuff? Huh. There we go. 7,200 pounds, mostly right in the end there, because of that cement. They say it's some kind of fall protection. Uh, something like that, but bigger. I'm not too sure myself. But these straps together can hold up to 11,000 pounds. Should be good. We're just headed back to the yard. I'm gonna button this up. They're gonna bring me out a little bit more paperwork. And that'll be that. Nice quick pickup. Now this thing should close pretty much on its own. Let's see. Not bad. Tighten her up. And we can go. So that's smoke. I was talking about earlier it's almost gone now it's just rising over there but when I got here it was just black smoke wonder what happened over there it looks like it's around the same Boniface industrial area make sure we close this up Not sure who the driver is or what load this will be uh, added on to and whose truck will be hooked up to it, but whoever's taking it, they're going to Indianapolis, Indiana, USA. All right, I'm just looking here at my assignment for tomorrow. Uh, we got a permit load tomorrow, uh, an overweight permit load. I've just got all my paperwork here right now. I have a specific route that I have to follow. I have to go pick up this beast of a thing. I have to bobtail to Ashern for tomorrow morning and then pull that thing over to Pine Falls. But I have to follow a very specific route because it's a permitted load. It's uh, just the load itself is 42,000 kilograms, which is 92,820 pounds. So it's not like the heaviest of the heavy, but it's heavier than we're normally allowed. Uh, the trailer has a Jeep on it, which means 
I'll have to show you tomorrow. It's not an actual Jeep, like a Jeep Cherokee. It's a, it's a Jeep. It hooks onto my fifth wheel and it's got like a fifth wheel on top of it. So it's like a trailer, a little mini trailer pulling the actual trailer. It just puts a few more axles on the ground to spread out the weight a little better. I'll have to show you tomorrow. If you want to know what a Jeep is, tune into tomorrow's video. I'm going to show you. It should be interesting, something different. Let's see what this, uh, this old girl's made of. See if she can do it. I hope it doesn't blow up. Oh, there it is, air conditioning. The day's ended. So tomorrow, I'm not too sure how long of a day this is gonna be. I am kind of, uh, I'm always excited to haul special freight. So anything with a permit is considered special freight to me. Don't really know what to expect. I haven't hauled this kind of stuff before. So it's something new again tomorrow. I've never had that Jeep. Some of the other drivers around here, I don't know if they're just trying to scare me or if they're messing with me, but they're saying sometimes you gotta back these trailers a mile down the road and into a very tight spot around the corner. And there's, it's almost like pulling a Super B. Uh, not, not at all really like it, but it, what I mean is there's two pivot points because there's a pivot point on your fifth wheel on the back of your truck. And then on the Jeep, there's another fifth wheel, right? So here's the back of your truck, the front of your truck, your truck's facing this way. The Jeep sits on your truck, right? And then it goes down. And then there's another fifth wheel over here where the trailer's sitting on that fifth wheel. So there's two pivot points, which makes it a little trickier backing up. Now, I don't know if they're just trying to scare me and try to mess with me, telling me that I gotta back a mile down the road around the corner up a hill into a garage. <laughs> they're, they're probably just trying to scare me, but there's probably some truth in it. I'm kind of wondering how far I'm gonna have to back this thing up tomorrow. It'll be, uh, something something new we'll say that i'm excited for it i'm always up for a challenge and don't you dare tell me that i can't do it because i'm going to show you that i can and off we go another day i'm looking forward to my rock star welcome now we're not going to hit the pothole again i did turn the lights off i did remember today i even washed the truck today but i think i made it look worse <laughs> I tried. I tried. I really did. The thing just, it's a stubborn truck. But at least I got all the mud off of it. I went down the bit of a mud road. Oh, 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 almost forgot. Almost forgot. Almost hit that pothole. We missed it. Yeah, I went down some dirt road the other day when I was delivering those ATVs. Got it all full of mud. At least we got the mud off. That's good. We're back. I'll give you one guess. What did I forget? What did I forget? It's usually on my dash right there beside the steering wheel. It's got a nice little mount. Oh, I forgot my cell phone. We should really start playing a game. What did Josh forget this time? Or what's Josh gonna forget tomorrow? You know, place your bets, people. I was frustrated at myself. So I drove a little faster than I usually do over the gravel and now I got my pickup all dusty. You definitely don't want to forget this here. Is everything else okay? Everything else all good? Did I forget anything else? Guys, what am I forgetting? Well, we're here, just triple, quadruple check, lights are off. All right. Oh, you know what? I want to hang this up. I don't like these wires on the floor. The floor is dirty. That's where the feet go. Okay. Well. Does it look like I washed it? Okay, ouch! 